In this video, we'll be discussing how to obtain the maximum likelihood estimator of theta for the given PDF. Solution. For more on maximum likelihood estimator, you can subscribe to this channel. The first thing to do to obtain the maximum likelihood estimator of any function you take the likelihood function. So we are taking the likelihood function of this. The likelihood function is simply the product sum of the given PDF. So this is the product sum. If we take the product sum of this distribution, this function, we'll get something like 1 all over 2 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of n summation x i's exponential summation x i's all over theta. This is still the likelihood function. So we have succeeded in taking the likelihood function of the PDF. The next thing to do is to take the law. How do we take the law? For we to take the law, we need to rearrange all of this so that it will be easier for we to take the law. So rearranging all of this, we have something like 2 raised to the power of negative n times theta raised to the power of negative 3n to be theta raised to the power of negative 3n then summation x i's exponential summation x i all over theta so with this though nothing has changed nothing has changed so with this, we cannot take the log. Taking the log, we write log f of x and theta is equal to, if we take the log of this, we get negative 3n log 2. And we take the log of this. Because of this sign, we have negative 3n log theta. If we take the log of this, we have plus summation of log xi. And if we take the log of an exponential function, we have that same function, which is negative summation x i all over theta the next thing to do in maximum likelihood estimation we differentiate with respect to theta so for more on this you subscribe to this channel so differentiating with respect to theta we'll write it as this If we differentiate this with respect to theta, we'll get zero because there is no function of theta here. Here, if we differentiate it with respect to theta, we we'll get negative 3n all over theta. This is what we we'll get. Plus, if we differentiate this with respect to theta, we we'll get zero as well because there is nothing like theta here. Minus If we differentiate this with respect to theta, we get negative minus 2 theta. So we have minus summation of xi all over theta squared. This is what we get because we keep this, this times 1 all over theta. If we differentiate, we get negative theta raised to the power of negative 2. So we get the whole of this. And the next thing to do is to equate to 0. But we note that this is also equal to 
negative 3n all over theta plus summation of xi all over theta squared. So we equate the whole of this to zero. If we equate this to zero, equate to zero. If we equate the whole of this to zero, we get negative 3n all over theta plus, sorry, plus summation of xi all over theta squared equal to zero. This can go over to this place to give us negative 3n all over theta is equal to negative summation xi all over theta squared. The next thing to do is to cross multiply. If we cross multiply, cross multiply. If we cross multiply, we get this will cancel this. We get theta squared all over theta is equal to this come over to this place summation of xi all over 3n. So this will cancel this. And we know that this is also equal to 1 all over 3 x bar. Therefore, our theta estimates, therefore our theta estimates, we have theta here. It's now our estimate. It will be equal to 1 all over 3 x bar. So we have succeeded in obtaining the estimator for the given PDF. This is how we can compute the maximum likelihood estimation for any PDF that is given. For more on maximum likelihood estimation, you can subscribe to this channel.